Are you ready? Getting really hungry because today we're gonna check out one of the most famous ramen here in Japan. Let's get it tasty, guys. Hi guys, I'm Eike from Bule Kulinran. I just checked out from the hostel where I slept this night and now I'm heading down to the Dotonbori area, which is really famous here. And we're gonna check out if we can find some tasty food there. So I hear there's this famous place called Ichiran Ramen. That's what we're gonna try today and maybe we can find some more. Okay guys, let's get it tasty. <laughs> We are at the moment in the Osaka Loop Line, in the subway here. And normally here in Japan, we are not so loud in the train to respect other people. So we have to go four stops, then transfer, and then we are in Dotonbori area. So I'm already at the number station that is just next to Dotonbori, so we already arrived. And there's one thing I want to tell you, I just went to the toilet and which is really interesting here, which I just realized, I never saw this in another country. So here, while there are seven men doing the business, there's a woman cleaning the, the floor just behind them. I never saw it in another country, normally it's a man in a men's toilet, but here it's a woman just next to the seven men which are peeing there, she's cleaning the floor. That's really interesting. Okay, let's get some food. I'm starving. Not enough, yeah? Ah, okay, so I didn't have enough money on the card. I couldn't go out, so we go to the fair. Just have to put some more money on it, and then we are free to go. Okay, you see, this looks a bit diff uh, difficult, but we have the English option up here. So then, I think we have to put the card in here. And the last time this wasn't working the way I wanted to have it, so I think I think I just have to put money in here. I tried. Ah, there it is. So maybe this time it was working. I really had many problems with this machine already. Okay, now we're free to go. I hope so. Let's try it again. Now it's working. Wow, we are free. So this number station is huge. They have 30 exits. So I'm a bit confused, but I think I have to go over here somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere here. So we try maybe B. Not so sure how I manage this, but it looks like I'm really wrong here. Let's try 25. 14 or 14, 14, 14 dot on buggy, let's go there. So, okay, we try the 14 and we see what is there. So it was written dot on buggy, so it could be right. So you see the station is really confusing. I don't know how I managed that, that I didn't got to be. Okay, we're gonna try to walk down here because this don't look like dot on buggy. Uh, not like the main street of dot on buggy, let's try it. I'm really not so sure where to go. So I just moved into a quiet alley. I think I'm on the right way here. I think so. So you see it's really confusing here. But here it's quite sad. Here it's getting busy. I could be on the right way. This looks like Dotonbogi. Here it's already getting busy. I think I'm right. So okay, we are here. We are in the Dotonbori area, which is like the kitchen of Osaka, I think, because here you will find a lot of food. But now we have to find the right place. Uh, Ichiran Ramen, I think it was, where we want to go today. I'm not so sure where it is. I, I forgot to check it out on Google Maps, actually. I hear it's in the Dotonbori area. Dotonbori area, so I hope I can find it. I'm not so sure. So I hear that this area, the Dotonbori area, Dotonbori area or something, that should be the main visiting point for tourists. They all come here to have good food and uh, enjoy the scenery. Like here's a small river, you can take a river cruise. I will show you that because one is just moving here. So it's a really small river here and I'm not so sure where this river cruise goes. I hear it just moving up and down so it could be quite boring. Oh wait, but there, there it is. That's a place we want to go. Ichiran Ramen, oh my God. So the people queue already down there. I'm not so sure if that is a lot which are queuing there or if that is not so much, but we're gonna check it out. So over there the people are also queue. I just realized, okay, we have to wait. There's some people still in front of us and then we can go up there. I see they have some umbrellas for women maybe because they don't like to get dark skin here. Some people are allowed to move over there. It's really interesting. The queuing culture here in Japan is really interesting. They're really 
full with it. Look at this, I just got this one here. He is giving it out for the people who are waiting. Okay, I didn't got an umbrella, but that's okay. So let's check it out, what we can do here. Circle your preferences. Um, thank you. So they just got an umbrella behind me. He also offered me one, but I mean, I think it's not so long what we have to wait here. And I like to get brown. But it's getting hot here. It's 11 o'clock, so the sun is getting hot now. But I think I'm cool with this one. So on this paper, we have the Japanese side and we can switch it around to have this one, the English side. I'm not so sure what dashi means. Richness, garlic. If you like spicy, should you go for the 10? If you first time, choose this. Medium? Yeah. We are oh, not so good anymore. Destroy the... Destroy ah, yeah. the <laughs> thank you, thank you. Already? Okay. Wow, thank you. So I just got explained how spicy it is here from the other people which are waiting here. Now I was already allowed to move over here under the sunshade. Uh, okay, wow, it's getting really interesting and this looks really cool. We can really customize our meal here. So the girl in front of me just recommended that I should go for the medium stock here, which I might gonna do and not so spicy because it's gonna destroy the taste. I go for the medium spicy and I think a lot of garlic, yeah. If you, you don't like the noodle too, from, you can choose this. Ah, okay. Which are you taking? Mm, well, I, this one. <laughs> ah, okay, soft. So we got now here pen and paper, we're gonna do this. So I go for the medium, let's go for the rich, yeah, richness. And garlic, I want a lot of garlic. One clove, so it should be really good. Green onion, a lot of green onion. Sliced pork, wow. Let's take some sliced pork, that looks good. And we get, okay, spiciness. I go for the, okay, she said medium. I gonna trust her. We take some medium spiciness and noodle texture. I want it soft. Let's do this one. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, we already moved behind the line. Wow, here it's getting squeezy. So here there's a machine. I'm not so sure what we do there. It's getting really interesting here. So something is happening here. They all look a bit confused here. We have to do something at this machine, I think. Let's wait and see what will happen here. So, okay, I'm getting this machine. Now we have to put money in here. Okay, we're gonna put some money first. Do you see that? So we're going to put money in here. Okay, one is already taken. I will insert 2,000 yen in here. Oh, 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 the machine is gone. Okay, what are we going to... Ooh, there's beer. Ooh, that's really cool. Da, 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 da. But we go for the ramen, I think. Eh? Let's go for the ramen. And for the half boiled salt egg. That should be enough. We get some tickets here. And now how we get some money back? Da, 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 da. Retrieves the change, retrieves the change. Okay, now I'm getting confused here. I think I have to press this one, maybe. Ah, that's working. Sounds like in a casino here. So we got those tickets. Okay, thank you. So we're getting guided to our place. Thank you. So we give this over here, this mystical hand and She's taking the tickets. I'm not so sure what is happening here. It's like a train ticket. It's really interesting. We get back this one. Oh, there's already the egg. So you see, it's just this box. And there are many of these boxes. The cool thing is, if you're with friends, you can flip down this one. So actually what I was reading, these are the focus boxes. So you can focus on your food. You're not distracted from anything. So that was the idea of the owner. They really want that the people can focus on the on the taste. I think they call it taste focus boxes or something. That's really interesting. I really think that's a cool idea. So we can put the bags behind there. Okay, now we already sit down here. That's really interesting. Ah, I see we get some cups here. There is a tap so we can take our water by ourselves. I'm gonna get some water here. Check this out. If it's working, maybe beer is coming out, the water. We have to press it and then water is coming out. Wow, really cool. On the sides I also have the price list again. So maybe we are getting hungry again. Oh, and the beer. That I really love this, the culture of beer here in Japan. Oh, check this out. We also got an extra item order sheet. So we could get more noodle, we can get rice, we can get an egg, everything. So there's a ballpoint here. I hear voices behind the... Oh, it's going open. It's opening. Oh, okay. 
Maybe the action piece, oh, there it's coming. Just some hands giving, uh, arigato. So just some hands giving out this one. That's, oh, now I see the person. It's the first time I see the person. Wow, look at this, that looks so amazing. That's a big bowl of ramen. So I really hope this is worth the price because yes, I have found a place where I just paid 300 yen for soba. This one is quite expensive, 1,000 and something yen for ramen. I really hope it's worth it. So let's check this out. Look at this. We get big pieces of pork here. Oh, this noodle. It looks like they just put the whole pack of noodle in there. And so, wow, it looks really rich. Just look at this. You can see how the fat is separating from the water. Okay, guys, let's try this beauty. It's still really warm. Before we mix it up, we will try some of the broth first. Check this out. It looks really good. And the smell already. The smell is also really rich. Wow. That is good. It's really rich. You, you taste some spices in here. Wow. That's really good. You can taste the porkiness of it because this broth is made out of uh, pork bones, actually. So they cook it really long and then they extract this out of it. That's why it looks really milky. Amazing. It's really rich. So actually for this kind of ramen, which is made out of pork bones, there's a special name for it. I forgot that one, but it's from the southern island of this big island. If you look at Japan from the main island, there's the, the south of it. It was for labor workers at the harbor. This was actually a meal for quite poor people. That's why they started to try to get the broth from the bones. But now it's famous because places like this made it for perfection. And now they appreciate it because you need to cook the bones really long to extract this, what you get here. So that's the history of this food. And I think we really have to mix it up and try how it tastes all together. Or at first, let's try some of the chili. The chili looks good. <coughs> wow, that's spicy. If you eat it pure like this, that's so spicy, but also really good. It reminds me of the sambals, which you often get in Chinese restaurants. I really like the spicy, but you also have all these other spices in there. Let's mix it up. Okay, we mix the spiciness in there. So we got some chopsticks, just a normal piece of chopsticks, like in a supermarket. There was a chopsticks that should be easier to mix this up. Yeah, it's much easier. Oh, look at this, this pork. Looks really good. Okay, we mix it all up. So the chili is going into there and the spring onions that they really mix it in. That's really good. It's not spicy, but the taste is still there. I think if I would go the first time for the really spicy one, because I like spiciness, I think it might be too much, so I wouldn't get the taste of the broth anymore. That is really good, really good, and really rich. I should go the next time, I should go for the extra rich, because I like this richness in this, and I'm amazed how they get this idea to cook the bones so long that you extract all of this. I'm, I'm not so sure if that is a whole bone which just is not there anymore and not in this. Um, I'm not so sure but this is really good. It's the first time that I eat a soup made out of bones. That's really good. And you directly taste this porky flavor in the broth. That's really good. But now we are at a ramen place so let's eat the ramen. I ordered the soft ramen. Oh my god. It's full with the rich broth. I'm gonna lift this up so you can see this beauty. It's really beautiful. It's like a carbonara, you see. It's dripping down there and it's sticking to the noodle. So I got the soft one. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. That is really good. This noodle with this pork sauce around it with this pork broth. So that's really good. Really similar to carbonara, I want to say. Normally carbonara is also made with bacon, huh? but with cooking cream. I would say that's the most similar dish which I know. Yeah? Carbonara is really similar to this one. But this one, of course, tastes different. But look at this. The noodles are full with this broth. It's so good. I like the softness of this noodle, so I choose the right one. I thought the portion will be smaller here, but this, so much noodle, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. I really, really like this. I didn't expect it. Yesterday, I um, just paid 300 yen for some soba on the street, but that was completely different. This one is so rich, it has so much flavor in it. It's so creamy. Okay, let's go for the pork. Here it is, one of the pork slices. 
Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. I really like it. It's still soft and it tastes really good. So you have some fat on the side. You see the brass is dripping down from it. It's so good. Let's try it together with the noodle. So I try to catch all of this. You can see I already learned a bit to use a chopstick, but sometimes it's still falling down. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. So I just come from Indonesia, there are many Muslim, but if you can eat pork, you should try this one. It's amazing. This is really like, like ramen heaven. Because it's just my third day, I didn't eat so much ramen yet, but I want to know if every ramen in Japan is as good as this. It's really good. Okay guys, we have one more. We have this egg, and I just had to ask the woman here if you put it into the soup or you eat it separately. So she told me, don't put it in the soup. You have to eat it separately. It's an salted egg. So let's try it. I think we have to crash it. Okay, we're gonna open the egg. I'm not so sure if you have to open the whole egg or how this is working. But the problem which I just realized, oh, maybe we do it wrong because now we have all these egg things in here. But oh no, wait, there are two. Oh, amazing. Okay, maybe this is just for the egg shell. That's an experience, guys, you can't believe it. So we open the egg shell first, then we put it into the big one, I guess. Wow, look at this, okay. It feels really soft in the inside. If I press it a bit, can you see it? It, it looks really soft, huh? I have to be careful that I don't break it yet. We put it in here, open this one. Oh my God, look at this. It's really all coming out. It's already a bit hard, it's not so soft anymore, but I guess it is because I need it too long. There's some music going on here. I'm not so sure what this means, this sound. Let's see that. Mmm, that's good. That's really good for breakfast. So the taste is actually egg, of course, and I think it's slightly salted. So in Indonesia, they have salted egg, and that is like, I, it's not my taste, but this one is just like a normal egg, but slightly salted. I'm gonna try some with the egg yolk as well. That's good, but it's really not, not so salted. It's just really slightly salted. The egg is really good for breakfast, but it's not really special. The egg is not really special. I would go here again for the ramen. The ramen is really good. Mm -hmm. so I just checked the egg also cost almost one euro, but for that I think it's really, really just a normal egg with some salt on it. Luckily I still have some ramen, so I gotta finish that. So I didn't taste the spring onion so much, maybe you should order extra spring onion if you get here. And also compared to Indonesian food, the garlic is not really dominant here. So I thought one clove is much, but I don't really taste it so much here. I think the dominant taste here is more this porky flavor. And I really like it. So I think the easiest way to finish this broth is just by slurping it up. So I finished all of it. It's really good. I can really good recommend this place. It's amazing. It's worth the price. Wow, really good. Because of the richness and the spiciness, the good thing is that we get the free water here. I'm not so sure why we get two cups, because these are seats just for one person. Maybe that you can enjoy your water faster or something. I'm not so sure. I'm gonna put some back. So I'm not so sure how much I paid in the end for this, for this, because in Japan normally the prices you see are without tax. So I think it was 1,200 or something in the end, the price for the uh, ramen with the egg. If you still feel hungry, you could choose here some more what you want. You press this button and it will open again this magic. It's amazing. So I'm just off to the toilet here and look at this. I have a lot of toilet paper here. Wow, we're out again. Not many people are waiting at the moment. Okay guys, that were incredible tasty noodle. I actually wanted to eat more here, but at the moment I'm really full, so I'm not so sure. Maybe also a snack is at the moment too much for me. Maybe let's head over to the glucosine. I'm not so sure why it is so important and famous here in Osaka. So there are many of these river tours here on the river. They don't really look so cool to pass everything really fast. So guys, I already arrived at the Glyco sign. Glyco, I think is the name. It's this one which you can see behind me, the Glyco man. Yesterday I met a friend here and he said, we meet at the Glyco man. So uh, I thought it's like a statue or something. So I thought it's that octopus over there. I didn't see this, I didn't know this, but it is really famous if you're here in the evening. They all take pictures here. It's really full with people here to take pictures with this Glyco man. Um, not so sure why, I think there are more beautiful places to take pictures. But if it's like that, then 
So that's okay, we also take a picture here and enjoy the moment. I really appreciate it that you watched this video till the end. If you liked this video and this video helped you to plan your trip to Japan, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because there are many more videos coming up now for you about the food and street food here in Japan. Let's get it tasty!